back to the Mac Today YouTube channel. How are you? I've been great. It's been a cold time in our region. It's been raining back to back, and it's a great time for sweaters. Okay, so um, last week we showed us uh, a sweater that we made with a smiley up or, uh, up in front. Today we went, uh, we got a little bolder. That other one was made with, think about five, four, four colors or so. But this one has up to seven colors in it. This is a face of a beautiful, I want to presume, a woman wearing a, an Afro hairdo. And then she's got this very nice hairband right here. It's got this very beautiful flower. She's wearing these drop earrings. She has rosy cheeks and <laughs> a little bit of lipstick up in there. So um, this we worked in one, two, three, four, five parts. Measurements, as usual, widest part of the area and of the, of the person's body. And then if you're planning to make it loose, you're going to add some inches to that. But if you're planning to make it uh, tight and then uh, to just follow the, the curves of the body, you have to keep it just uh, tight. All right, so you use the exact measurements you get, but if you want it loose, you're going to have to add one or two inches to it. And then we worked it with um, single crochet stitches, as usual. I'd like to say that single crochet stitches make better tapestry. So this tapestry, to make it uh, look all nice and, you know, easy to work, we have to use uh, single crochet stitches for the front panel and the back panel. All right, so before we, you know, plunge in, are you new to our channel? Are you subscribed yet? You should totally go do so. We bring you um, new videos, tutorial videos, sharing with you how we made one of our bespoke pieces. Could be female apparel, could be male apparel, it could be uh, apparel for children, could be accessories, it could be what have you. So do go subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can get to be alerted when we post um, one of these videos. All right, share with your friends too, invite them to come participate. All right, so. Um, Let's go on. I think I've mentioned that we use the single crochet stitches to work this. It's always easier to use single crochet stitches to work um, your tapestry because uh, it makes it ensures that uh, the image stays as true to type as possible. So we made the front panel first, giving it this yellow uh, background, yeah, the yellow um, frame, and then of course the picture right in the middle. Okay, do you know how to work tapestry? If you don't, we're organizing classes. You can let us know in the comment section and we'll hook you up with one. Okay, so front panel first with the you know face, tapestry face on it. And then we work the back panel. The back panel, we sort of work it to uh, reflect the name of uh, our company. Yeah, this is the name of the academy. So we put it on there. Now, do you want um, what are, what names you whatever names you want to put on it? You're free to do so. But this is what we put on there, and we use this very bright yellow on this forest um, on this forest green. It's really really beautiful together. All right. So we work the front panel, back panel, join them at the sides, right, and at the shoulders, making room for the armhole as usual. Don't forget measurements for this. We're going to be needing. The measurements of the bicep, which is the widest part of the arm. We'll also need measurements for the wrist, which is the slimmest part of the arm. And definitely the length, the arm length. All right. So after working the two panels, the back and the front panel, we went ahead and um, worked the sleeves. Look at the sleeves right here. We worked them similarly. We used this um, uh, green and then the yellow, the yellow part of what we used at the front uh, uh, the front panel we infused it here so we have this green and yellow you know um sleeves yeah and then we worked the edgings the edgings are sort of we maintain the same design which is the front post back post design we use black this is the wrist so front post back post right there and then we you know infused some fur for class for you know <laughs> for elegance yeah for class and elegance, we infused some fur right there. So same thing we did for the base of the sweater, right? We worked our front post, back post, and then we um, infused some fur there. Now, something we did a little different with this particular sweater than what we did with the sweater from last week. We made a, a total neck. We gave it a very high collar. This, the individual can fold if they want to keep it short or they can leave it long if they want to cover a larger part of their neck and stay a little warmer 
this for a lot colder regions, right? And then um, you can put it down if your where you are is a little warmer, right? And then same thing we did here, um, the front post back post technique using double crochet stitches, right? And then we ended it with this four infusion to give it this really beautiful, sophisticated, elegant look. So that's it, people. That's it. Essentially, it's a very easy. Um, sweater to work. All you need to know is a double, the single crochet stitches for the main panels, the double crochet stitches to use in working your front post, back post, the hound stood stitch. I don't know if I mentioned that, the hound stood stitch. That's what we used in working the sleeves. And of course, double crochet stitches we use for the front post, back post um, part. This is the wrist. Then essentially, however it is you want to use the fur, you can use, um, you can use single crochet stitches to uh, edge this. Or you can go ahead and just use um, slip stitches. Yeah, it will still give it this look, right? It will give it this same look. So go ahead and, you know, um, try your hands at something, yeah? For, for crochet, if you really shouldn't put yourself in a box. Don't limit yourself. You know, stretch yourself. Whatever it is you want to try out, you try it out. That's why we have swatches and that's why you can frog, all right? So if you think you're not satisfied with what you did at first, go ahead and frog, right? And then make another swatch and try it another way. And at the end of the day, you come out satisfied. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said earlier, do go subscribe, 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 subscribe. Bye for now.